Hello guys, my name is Kiki and welcome to Zoo Tycoon 2 and today I'm gonna be building an exhibit for crocodiles and this was supposed to be the collab with Caleb I will leave his channel down below but I guess it's new year almost and he's probably busy so he didn't have time to reply to my messages anyways check out his channel and he's going to do a one exhibit in this zoo I think or maybe we will do the whole zoo I don't know still <laughs> but yeah, so crocodiles. I'm gonna show you the picture that I got my inspiration from. Uh, here it is. <laughs> but of course in the game when I started building <laughs> I realized I'm probably not gonna be able to make it like that. So I just make it something like that but not the same. And surprisingly this took a really long time to build. Almost three hours I don't know why once I get into it I'm just really slow honestly I'm <laughs> I speed things up for you but when I build I build really slow but also I'm gonna uh, leave a link to this zoo to save file of this exhibit for anyone who wants to download it so and play it around maybe at some other exhibit in the zoos as well you can do that or we can do maybe a collab too but anyways if you want to do like collabs uh, zoo build a zoo together with me that's cool we can do that <laughs> just to let you know and there are two exhibits for two species of crocodiles I made here and yeah I wanted to make it like that the cave looking area like it's a, uh, a cave you go down into but in the game I don't know it, it would have been too hard for me so I just made it like this I mean the exhibit looks good but it's nothing you would spend like three hours on I don't know why I'm so slow when I when I pick things like what rocks I'm gonna use what lands it takes forever so that's that's why anyways let's let's see some facts about crocodiles so crocodiles are reptiles I'm sure you know that uh, they are a really good predators and they have the strongest bite of any animal in the world at least this site says so but they don't have so strong muscles in their jaws that are used for opening uh, so you can easily hold a reasonably strong people could hold a crocodile's jaw closed with their bare hands so he, so his opening muscles he used to open his jar are not so strong but uh, when his muscles when to keep his jar closed are really strong <laughs> well yeah I don't know guys let me know if you like listening to animal facts or not <laughs> I don't know really much about animals but you know it's always fun to google something and learn something new and I see the zoo is coming along nicely yeah look look at all those plants I placed <laughs> it takes forever to do them so so but it I love I love placing plants around I, I didn't I don't always do when I'm doing speed builds because I mean there is no reason to it's you know I'm more focused on the indoor areas. I don't know what what even to talk about now. <laughs> it's gonna be busy, busy time really soon after the new year. But if any of you wants to do collabs, uh, we can after maybe the second half of January. From then, I think we can start. Oh, it's f f close to finish. Um, I added the animals. Oh, this is the signs. There are some information about them. It's always nice to add those as well. And I added a little restaurant 
and the bathroom for the guests, I don't know even why. Just to go give you an example how it can look. And the zoo is finished! <laughs> and let's see how it looks, this is a little... Well, statue over there, and we're going in right away to see our crocodiles. Uh, let me know what you think about the young indoor area. Do you think it's nice to leave uh, like some plants inside as well? And here they are swimming around. Some information. They have the garial. I don't even know how to pronounce. Their jar is the longest, I believe. And here are the Nile crocodile. Is that how you say? <laughs> you can see uh, their indoor. Uh, pool and uh, outdoor pool and these are some bones just thought I, I should add something it felt empty so it's re really nice and you can watch them swim <laughs> in there like that and let me show you my favorite view I think in this exhibit is the one over here on this elevated path from the outdoor area. It really looks beautiful with all those flowers and you can see them streaming there. The males are really big. The females are not so much, but the males are need a lot of space. Hopefully they don't mind <laughs> the exhibit this size. <laughs> Oh, you can see them swimming inside. Oh, the kids are excited. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, they are happy. And there is one more viewing area. So let's see that as well. I'm a little bit sick. My voice maybe not sound the best today. This is the last viewing area. And they're in the water right now, so we can see them. But they come here to eat. And I forgot to place keepers. <laughs> I think I remember them maybe now and placed them. Yeah, no, they are still really thirsty. <laughs> Just forgot. Look at this. Okay, this is above you. It looks nice. But it's not, again, something you would spend so much time on. <laughs> And if you want to work on this zoo more, I, as I said, I will leave a link in the description for you if you want to download this exhibit and play with it yourself. And let me know if you want to do some collabs. Oh, she's pregnant already. Well, that's nice. It means they are happy there. So I made it so like in the winter you can close them but in the summer you can let them out. And if you like this episode, like it, comment if you want to share anything uh, or ask anything and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you next time. Bye!